everyone, so it's been a little while since I've done a makeup collection and storage video. Not much has changed since then, but I have changed the layout of my makeup and Anna came over a while ago and we did like a big clear out. I really needed to get rid of some of the stuff. But I wanted to show you how I kind of store my makeup, my daily makeup and spare makeup. Now obviously because of what I do, I have... I call it spare makeup, it's kind of stuff that I don't use every day but that I need to keep in case I want to write a blog post or I need to do a comparison post or I do a video and I need to mention products. So I kind of keep them separate. I have my daily makeup and then I have my blogging makeup. So I thought I'd talk you through how I store it all, kind of show you a bit of what I've got. It's not perfect, I've tidied it up a bit but I haven't tried to make it perfect for this video. This is just kind of what naturally works for me where I'm living now. I'm sure things will change but at the moment this is just what works for me. So I'm going to talk you through my makeup, how I store it and I really hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so welcome to my bedroom. This is my IKEA drawers. I don't love it, it's not perfect, but it's what I have. And it has three quite large drawers down there, which I use for clothes and pajamas and stuff, so it's quite handy. This is where I keep my daily makeup. So I use these clear Muji drawers for the things that I want to use on a daily basis. Obviously I don't use it all, but it's the few options I know I want to have daily. And I keep my brushes here and most of my palettes. So let me take you closer so you can see how I store it and which makeup bits I have in my daily collection. Okay, so let's talk through brushes first. I know I have far too many, but these are the brushes that I like to use and I like to store them in pots. The two jars on the outside are old diptyque candles. I just let them burn right to the bottom and then poured out the extra wax and the wick and then just cleaned them out. The middle one is from H&M Home which says a true love story never ends and I love that one. I've also just piled them on three books just so they're slightly higher, easier to reach and I also think it looks pretty. I have a few palettes wedged either side of the brushes. These are sort of my most used palettes. I have my three naked palettes on the right, naked one, naked two and naked three and on the left I have my main MAC palette and my NARS blusher palettes. So in the two little side drawers I keep the rest of my palettes. In the right hand drawer I keep my Viseart palette, my NYC Best of Broadway palette, my L'Oreal Le Palette Nude, my Laura Mercier palette and my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. In the left hand drawer I keep my two Tom Ford palettes, Cognac Sable and Orchid Haze. I also keep two Charlotte Tilbury palettes, the Dolce Vita and Fallen Angel. I also keep my very well used YSL Couture palette and the Clinique palette that I love for travel. I also have my Bobbi Brown Rich Chocolate palette and two Chanel palettes, Pose and Charming from last Christmas. Okay so let's go back to the right side and this is where I keep my eyeliners and my primers and a few little tools that I use on a daily basis. I keep all my eyeliners in this clear Muji pot but what I've actually done is used a clear elastic band to bunch together my black liquid liners and my brown liners which are probably the two that I use the most just so it's easy for me to grab a bunch and then pick from there. In this little tray here which again is from Muji I have a few different primers like one from Pixi, Tom Ford, Chanel, Dior, Trish McAvoy and Kiehl's. I also have my Benefit Puff Off here and a little hourglass primer. This is this is also where I keep my tweezers, my eyelash curlers and my Urban Decay eye primer. I also have a Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream because I've been trying that out again recently. Okay so let's go into these drawers here which is where I keep my daily eye makeup. In this drawer here I have mainly cream eyeshadows. I've got my Chubby Sticks for Eyes from Clinique, Charlotte Tilbury cream eyeshadows, one from Rimmel, a couple from Tom Ford, Estee Lauder, Maybelline and I also have some Kiko shadows and Bobbi Brown liner which I bought recently and this is where I keep my eyeliner sharpener. Down here I also have some cream shadows from By Terry and Kiko. In the second drawer is where I keep my mascaras and eyebrow product. I know I have a lot of mascaras here but I like to try different ones every now and again depending on the look. So I've got my Anastasia Brow Wiz and my Soap and Glory Archery over here and Clear Brow Gel. Then I have a couple of Clinique mascaras a couple from Tarte, one from Maybelline, one from L'Oreal, one from Max Factor, Makeup Forever, Stila and Armani. Okay let's head over to the left tower and I love this side because the top opens like this which is very handy and up here is where I keep all my concealers. I can't really get you any closer than that but I'm sure you know what concealers I have. I have some from NARS, Charlotte Tilbury, Clarins, Makeup Forever, Laura Mercier and I also have my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder up here as well. The only problem with these Muji drawers is they do get very grubby and as you can see there's lots of fingerprints. 
In this second drawer is where I'm keeping my current favourite foundations and powders that I like to use. I have a powder from Bourjois and Hourglass. I also have the Kiko foundation, Charlotte Tilbury foundation, NARS Shea Glow and the Burberry Fresh Glow foundation. I think there's an Estee Lauder CC cream back there as well which I haven't tried yet. Third drawer down is where I keep my bronzers, highlights and blushes that I'm currently using. I try to switch this up kind of every week or so, but some of the things obviously stay like the Soap and Glory Solar Powder, Charlotte Tilbury Film Style Bronze and Glow. I've also got an Hourglass Blusher, a Tarte Blusher, NARS Blusher, NYX Blusher, Chanel and Gemma Kid Highlighter as well. Okay, so these bottom five drawers are where I keep my lip products and I used to have them hidden away because it does look a bit excessive like this, but I just wasn't using them and I found that when they're set out like this, I, I use them more and I can see what I've actually got. So there is some kind of order to them, roughly, an order that I understand. So let's go to the top drawer first. In here is where I keep some of my lip glosses. I have a lot from Tanya Burr, they're my favourite type of lip gloss and I also have a few from Bobbi Brown as well. One from Maybelline and I think back here is one from Buxom and Charlotte Tilbury. In the second drawer I have a few more glosses and some balms too. I have my Clarins Instant Light Glossy Balms, a few lip glosses from Chanel, a few other kind of high-end lip glosses and some Rimmel ones as well. And then my Revlon Lip Butters and Clarins Instant Light Balm. In the third drawer is where I keep my reds. So I have a range here from Revlon, Rimmel, Charlotte Tilbury, Clinique, Nars, Bourjois, and then all my kind of red lip lacquers and matte lip pencils here from Sephora and Nars and Bourjois. Fourth drawer is where I keep my pinky nudie tone lipsticks and the majority of my MAC lipsticks as well. So all my MAC lipsticks are down here. I have a couple from Tom Ford, a couple from Rimmel, a few from Charlotte Tilbury, Kiko, and a couple from Dior as well. The bottom drawer is where I keep my kind of bold lipsticks, apart from this, this is my lip oil, probably shouldn't be in there, but everything else is dark, bold lip, dark pink, it's also where I keep all my lip pencils as well. These again were hidden away until recently because I found that I wasn't really using them, but now that they're here I'm getting a good use out of them. So that is everything from what I call my daily makeup collection. This is the stuff I actually use, the stuff that I buy, the stuff that I want for myself and my own face. I'm going to take you now over to my other makeup section, which is more for blogging purposes. Not necessarily stuff that works for me, but stuff that I want to keep in case I need to blog about it or put it in a video. This is more kind of like work related stuff. Please excuse this candle going mental, I forgot to trim the wick. But for my other makeup I use the Alex Ikea drawers and I've had these for a while, I absolutely love them. They're great and on top as you can see I keep my ridiculous perfume collection. I am a perfume hoarder, I love perfume, I can't get rid of any of them, but I do love them all. I've made sure I don't have any that I don't like. So let me take you through the drawers. As you can see I've labelled the drawers using my brand new label maker that I'm obsessed with and if you want to hear more about it, it will be in my January favourites video. I put a little picture on my Instagram. I'm obsessed and I've used it for labelling my makeup drawers and it's great. So in this top drawer, as you can see, are my lipsticks. I have this clear separator which I think is from Muji, but these are the lipsticks that I don't really wear but I can't really get rid of because I feel like I might need to keep them in case, it's a bit ridiculous. There's just a range of stuff from like a few high-end Tom Ford lipsticks, quite a few kind of bourgeois Rimmel Revlon types, a few like Bobbi Brown pencils, lots of reds, just things I feel like I can't get rid of but I don't really use these on a daily basis. In the second drawer, as you can see from the label, is blushes. Okay, so this drawer is slightly different. I'd say out of every makeup item that there is, blusher is my all-time favourite and I absolutely love kind of collecting and trying new blushes. So this drawer I do kind of dip into, I'd say weekly, and I try to switch up my daily blusher and work my way through my collection, but I do genuinely love all the blushes that I have. This drawer looks a little bit messy, but there is some kind of order to it. As I said, I didn't really tidy up these drawers, especially for the video. This is just kind of them in their raw state. This blush is from Gosh, and then all of these here are from Tarte. I really love their 12 hour blushes, they're such great quality. And then I also have four MAC blushes here as well. Here in the front I've just got a couple from MAC and NARS and Chanel, one from The Balm, Revlon and two from Hourglass. At the back here is where I keep all my kind of cream blushes and watercolour blush, anything with kind of a creamy watery formula. And here are some more cream blushes but these ones come in stick forms. I usually kind of use these in the summer so I keep them in here and then switch them up when it's warmer. Okay so the next drawer as you can see is bronzers and highlighters. I have some different highlighters and contour kits from Kiko, Soap and Glory, MAC, Topshop and it's a mix of cream and powder here. On this side I have bronzers, um, mainly powder like Revlon, Benefit, Bourjois, Body Shop and then I have a cream one from Chanel and this kind of contour pen from Tarte. 
At the back there I have a huge Tom Ford bronzer and then here, ouch, and then here is just kind of some tools like pencil sharpeners and shadow shields. Next up, T moisturisers which obviously stands for tinted moisturisers. What a mess, I haven't found the perfect way to store these but I actually find it's helpful for me to just have them all laying down. It doesn't look pretty but it works. So this row is tinted moisturisers from Laura Mercier, Jouer, Nars, Chantecai, Dior, Kevin O'Quan, Benefit and then I have some primers here, oh that's a Lizelle tinted moisturiser, Laura Mercier primer, Hourglass, Clarins and then these are kind of tinted primers, you know, the sort of like bronzing liquids. Back here I have a couple of SPFs and a couple of BB creams as well. Okay, let's move on to foundations. Similar to the tinted moisturisers, I find just lying them down works best for me. It doesn't look pretty, but it works. This drawer probably needs another clear out soon. Um, but again, these are foundations that either have like more than one shade of that I need to keep in, key in case I change the shade of my skin in the summer or winter and ones that I keep for kind of research purposes or writing blog posts. I don't really use all of these daily anymore. But I have some from Chanel by Terry, Armani, Burberry, YSL, drugstore ones from L'Oreal, Revlon, Rimmel, Bourgeois, Lizelle, MAC, Laura Mercier and then I have a few kind of random concealers at the back and cream foundations here. Okay, the final drawer, eyeshadows. So eyeshadows that I don't really use daily but I want to keep. I have kind of a palette from MUA, this Urban Decay palette which is so bright. I won't use it but I kind of need it for fancy dress. Um, a few budget shadow quads that I like to bring out every now and again. Um, some kind of glitter and bright shades I don't use. And I have quite a few cream eyeshadows here as well and eyeshadow singles that just don't fit into my daily collection but I do like to use like the L'Oreal ones and the NARS ones. So that's it for these drawers. The two drawers below are empty and then the one at the bottom is Rich's man drawer. So that's all my makeup. I know it's quite a bit, but hopefully you guys enjoyed having a little nosy through and seeing how I store it all. Let me know if you did get any kind of storage tips or if you have any tips for me if you watched this and thought, girl, you should not be storing that that way, then let me know. I would love to know. See you guys on Tuesday for my next video and thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.